Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Technology Explore. My name is Usman Chaudhary and in this video I am going to show you how to do a flow simulation in SOLIDWORKS and basically this is a cross flow turbine and I am going to do the flow simulations on uh, this cross flow turbine. So keep watching this video till end and if you want to download all these files for your practice I will leave the download link in the description of this video. So here is the exploded view of this turbine. So let's start uh, its simulation. So first of all, double click here to uh, for normal view, and then click on feature manager tree here, and then um, click on this arrow in front of option button, and then select add-ins. Then scroll down, and from here check this box SolidWorks flow simulations and then press ok button so now we have a solid bars flow simulation tab here now click on flow simulation and then click on wizard button here name your project uh, and then hit next then from here I choose the unit system so I am going to use SI so system international then hit next then Tell the system that uh, uh, what type of analysis you are going to do. So I am going to do external analysis or uh, flow simulation. Then uh, we have gravity so check uh, this box and we also have a rotating region so check this box. Then we have to define reference axis. So as you can see here from uh, model that we are uh, throwing water from this direction to this direction. So what is coming like this in the turbine. So you can see here a, a reference axis are Y. So select reference axis Y. Then hit next. Then from here choose the uh, type of flow or type of fluid. So we have water so expand liquids and then scroll down. From here double click on the water to select it. Then in the water check this box as we also want to know the cavity or cavitation. Then again hit next. Next. So from here we have to define the velocity of water. So for, for this calculation I have the velocity in the direction of y and it is uh, let's say 100 meter per second so from here this arrow shows that velocity is in this direction we have to, to reverse the direction of velocity so type here negative sign like this to reverse the direction so now you can see here we had reverse the direction of uh, velocity now hit finish button so uh, this box is, the, is known as computational domain and it represents the area of flow. Uh, it means uh, your flow will um, flow on, on this, um, this area. So we have to reduce to uh, increase the speed of computer. So for that right click on computational domain and then add a definition. then press the space button and select this view orientation then click and drag these arrows like this and from here change the shape and adjust the uh, computation domain according to your uh, design or model So now again press the space button and select this view orientation and at this time adjust these um, computational domains like this. So 
so we had edited the definition of computational domain then press ok button then we have uh, next option rotating region so here we have to define the rotating region for that right click on rotating region and select insert rotating region select this shaft and you can see here uh, we have to reverse the direction of rotation so for that uh, type here uh, speed and speed is 300 in the opposite direction so for that type here negative sign so uh, now we had defined the rotating region and, uh, and then press ok button after that we have to set goals so right click on goals and insert global goals scroll down from here uh, we have to check velocity check these options and press ok button then we have to run the simulation so for that right click on project and then select run select run from here and then wait for a while it will take a couple of minutes on my laptop it took about 15 minutes to solve these calculations so here we had finished uh, the calculation for sim flow simulation now uh, close this window and then you can see here my results so expand the results option and from here uh, select or right click flow trajectories but before that uh, right click on computational domain and hide it so now uh, right click on flow trajectories in the results right click on it and then select insert so uh, there are three options select this option pick from screen now select this face then drag this arrow like this on this plane now press space button and select this view orientation now click on this uh, button pick points then drop the points like this so these are uh, all points are the flow trajectories means that the flow will start from these points so now uh, scroll down and th this this is the appearance of the flow trajectories in the shape of pipes or you can select lines or anything or any type of a shape so I'm going to select lines this is the width of line so type here one millimeter uh, width of line and type of flow pressure or velocity or anything so you can select uh, um, velocity you can switch uh, between all of these options at any time then press ok button so it will again recalculate and now you can see here we had done the flow simulation uh, this is the range so from 0 to uh, 1435 meter per second this is the velocity range so we, as we had the maximum 100 meter per second velocity so you can type here 110 uh, meter per second uh, water speed then next step is that uh, you can see in what is happening inside the, the turbine so for that hide these side plates i also hide this side plate then this side plate and also hide bearing so here you can see how uh, the flow is uh, moving inside the turbine so we have maximum velocity at at this point and uh, 
then minimum velocity here uh, now you can switch between velocity and pressure so for that click on velocity here and then from here select pressure or any option then press ok button so here you can see again this is the range and at the at the moment the pressure is in pascal so let me check velocity so at the moment you can see here this uh, wicket gate is uh, uh, not fully opened so we should open it uh, by rotating it like this to recalculate uh, these flow trajectories we have to run the analysis once again so for that right click on project and select run again select run button here and uh, here it will tell you that the geometry of the model uh, or project setting have been changed do you want to reset computational domain no then uh, flow simulation has detected that the model was modified do you want to result mesh setting yes Re reset mesh setting so select yes so here you can see it is recalculating the whole uh, calculation so now we had also finished the second calculation close this um, window and then from here uh, right click on flow trajectories and then select show so here you can see we had the new um, flow tra trajectories according to uh, this position so these are the um, options to switch between velocity and pressure and the rest of the uh, parameters i hope you had enjoyed and learned from this video and thanks for watching and sparing time and if you want me to design a special projects for you uh, my contact details are mentioned here in uh, the bottom of this video and you can also find uh, the contact details in the description of this video and thanks for watching and sparing time